Hey, Dr. Ferguson coming to you from the Passion Cam. I was talking about the transition from home into a nursing home setting. And one of the things that I think could be very helpful as you transition from one place to the other is your, uh, your visibility, your availability, your presence. You might not have to be there as often uh, as time goes on, but initially try to have a family member there just as often as you possibly can so that your loved one is experiencing something they're familiar with, something that, that's normal to them, something that's common to them. Uh, that they wake up, they see their loved one there, they're going to bed, they see their loved one, it's meal time, and their loved one is helping cut up the meat the way they like their meat to be cut up. Just simple things, just your presence. You know, go in there, take, you, take some work that you can do on your own, and just by the fact that you're just there, they can look over there and see you. That brings comfort to your loved one. It, awful lot. I mean, I can think of times when me and my wife were on a date day. We might not be doing anything together. Um, she might be working, or I might be driving, or she might be getting ready to go shopping, or I might be getting ready to sit in the car. We might not be doing something just there together, but just knowing we're there together, or just being able to look over and see her, or she can look over and see me. That brings a comfort, that brings a joy that you can't put in words, that you can't put on paper, and nobody can, can fill that void other than that particular person. So on that note, I encourage you as you transition from home to a nursing home or assisted living setting to be there as often as you can initially so you can help make that transition a little smoother than what it might be. On that note, be blessed. Have a wonderful day. Dr. Ferguson coming to you from the Passion Camp.